My name is Salami Olukola. I'm a director, office of the Public Defender, Lagos State Ministry of Justice. The topic before me this afternoon, I'm supposed to talk about the legal protection of sexual violence survival and violence. The Office of the Public Defender was set up by the Lagos State Government, and our primary mandate is to provide free legal services to the indigents of Lagos State. The Office of the Public Defender has special interests in the vulnerable, that is, women and children. To this extent, we, pro we protect their socio-economic rights. The government of Lagos State is aware of the fact that domestic violence is a social menace. To this extent, we have in Lagos State a law that has been put in place, the Prevention Against Domestic Violence Law of 2007. What that law is saying is that it is no longer a private affair you know, in the past, we have people that fight, they fight, they, they injure each other. And when they go and report at the police station, the attitude of the police is that this is a private affair. Go and settle it at home. But now, domestic violence is no longer a private affair. When a case of domestic violence is reported, because it is a crime, of course, the first thing to do is to report it at the police station. Incident the matter at the police station. So we have quite a lot of this happening in my office. It is reported and we assist the victim in the, 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 the accompanying the victim to the police station and the matter is reported. At the police station, the police will arrest the offender, that is the person that has perpetrated the offense. Depending on which uh, domestic violence can come in various forms, it can be physical, it can be psychological, it can be emotional, it can also be sexual, it can also be financial. It comes in various forms. So if it is a physical one, that means that there might be a situation where you have injuries on the body of the uh, victim. So in such a situation, the victim will be given a form, a referral form, to go to the hospital for medical examination and, of course, medical treatment. And, of course, if it is a case of rape and uh, defilement, they are also a form of domestic violence that we need to do medical examination. And we have um, two primary hospitals that are used, the Mirabel Center, that is one that is resident at Lassut, and we have another one at um, Yaba, that is then located at Totten Street. So the victim will need to do medical examination. The reason for this is because if the matter is to be prosecuted, there will be need to tender the medical examination and the medical report at the, in court at the end of the day. I want to go ahead and talk about some of the um, uh, the reliefs and orders that can be made available in court. After the police station, and the matter is um, incident at the police station, and the uh, victim is treated in the, at the hospital, it is the duty of the police to charge the matter to court. Remember I said that this is a crime in Lagos State. Domestic violence is a crime. So the police now charge the matter to court. Uh, there are times when, most of the time, it is a, it is a gender-based um, uh, crime. It can be a woman, it can be a man. The, the victim can also be a child, especially if it's a case of, um, of defilement or maybe there's a, a physical injury. So there are times when the matter is reported in our office and the victim is now afraid. Let me say, for instance, in a situation where a married woman is saying that her husband is beating her and he has been in the habit of beating her and she has um, injuries in her body to actually um, prove that she has been abused by the husband. So in that kind of situation, the, the Office of the Public Defender can proceed to court to get a restraining order. Those are one of the measures, the reliefs that are open to a victim. A restraining order can be given in court. What our restraining order is all about is to restrain the, um, the, the, the abuser from further abusing the victim at the end of the day. So there are times when the court will now say that the abuser should not move within a certain kilometer to where the office, to where the house or the, of the victim is. And also to prevent the abuser from even you know, soliciting the assistance of some other people to abuse um, the victim at the end of the day. So restraining order to stop and to restrain 
the abuser from further um, uh, abusing the victim. And there are some other um, release okay, children are involved and um, the school fees of the children will need to be paid. So the court can also go ahead to give uh, maintenance orders. Maintenance orders are really, as relates to payment of house rent. Maintenance orders are, as relates um, to feeding of the children. Maintenance orders are relates to justice. Rape is a form of domestic violence, just like defilement is a form of domestic violence. The punishment for rape and uh, defilement is life imprisonment under the law. So at the time the matter is um, filed in court and the matter goes to trial, if at the end of the day the abuser is found guilty, it is life imprisonment. In Lagos State, we also have some executive orders that the Lagos State government has put into place to ensure and to curb this um, societal menace of domestic violence. We have the Sexual Offenders Register. This register is resident in the Office of the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice of Lagos State. So what that um, register is all about is that in a situation where a perpetrator is now found guilty, his name will be put in that register. And the essence of that register is to enable people that are caregivers, people that you have, a, 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 for instance, a pedophile, his name will be inside that register. So for people that are caregivers like schools, they have a right to go to the um, office of the attorney general to check that register in employment when they want to employ teachers to be sure that they are getting the right person. We also have the mandatory reporter, which is an executive um, order. And what that order is also saying is that um, um, for people, for people, we can term them busybodies. In a situation where an abuser is not bold enough to report the matter at the police station, a neighbor or somebody that is aware that the offense has been committed can report the matter at the police station, can report the matter to the Office of the Public Defender, can report the matter to the Domestic and Sexual Violence Reporting. I forgot to inform us that the Office of the Public Defender is also a member. We have a team in Lagos State which is called the Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team. This team was set up by the governor of Lagos State. And this team gives a holistic response to offense of domestic violence. In that team, we, we have different agencies in that team. We have the police, we have Ministry of Education, we have the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty and Education, we have um, the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, and then we have also have Mirabel Center and some other NGOs that are members of that team. So depending on whatever the situation is, because OPD is a member of that team, if a, a case is reported at the Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team and there is need to file the matter in court, there is need to arrest, then the Office of Public Defender will swing into action and ensure that the, um, the perpetrator is um, arrested. So I was talking about the, um, the mandatory reporter. This now encourages members of the society to report what they have seen. An offense has been committed in your neighborhood or you discover that your neighbor has a house help and that neighbor is always abusing the child. Maybe it's a child, beating up the child from time to time you have the right to report the matter to the police station or to the Office of the Public Defender. And when we hear such um, reports, what we normally do is uh, we carry out what is called rescue mission. With the assistance of the police, we go to where the uh, offence has been committed and we pick up the victim. When the victim is picked up, of course, we uh, incident the matter at the police station. From there, we now ensure that the police charge the matter to court. And then, of course, there are times when we also want to put the, uh, the, 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 the victim in a home. We have homes in Lagos State. We have shelters in Lagos State where we put the victim to ensure that um, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the victim is not further traumatized. So the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, they have shelters all over Lagos State where we put um, the victims pending where the matter is charged to court at the end of the day. So the mandatory reporter reports the case. So we, in the Office of Public Defender, we have had various locations where um, citizens of Lagos State have come to report to us. You can choose to be anonymous. You don't have to reveal your identity. Once we have details of where the incident has happened and the name of the offender and the name of the victim, we swing into action with the assistance of the police. We arrest the offender and we pick up the victim 
if there is need for medical examination, we ensure this is carried out. And we also follow up the police to ensure that the matter is um, prosecuted and is charged to court at the end of the day. That's against um, domestic violence. So the, we can report to our offices. We have office in Ecology at the Magistrate Court at Itailewa. The Office of the Health Defender is located inside our court. We also have another office at Oba inside the Magistrate Court. It is behind Guinness. We can report cases of um, offences that have been committed here. We have the, of, an office at Badagre inside the I Magistrate Court. We also have at um, Epe inside the Magistrate Court. And our head office is located at Suru Liri, 228 in the road, Stadium Hotel, Pastor Fenshaw, Williams Avenue. And we have a toll free number. Our toll free number is 070 80 60 10 80. So the Lagos State government is urging citizens of Lagos State not to keep quiet. When you hear a crime is committed, you see a crime is committed, report. And you can also call the number 112 to report incidents of um, crime in Lagos State.